In this video, we're going to continue troubleshooting the VLAN trunking protocol or VTP. We've been told that when VLANs are added to the VLAN database of one of these switches, those VLANs are not replicated to other switches. So let's do a test. Show VLAN brief. At the moment, we only have the standard VLANs on switch three. What about on switch two? So show VLAN brief. Also only have the standard VLANs. Show VLAN brief. Also only have the default built-in VLANs. The only one that we really are concerned with is VLAN one. We won't worry about these other VLANs because they are unsupported. They run on FDDI and token ring. So on switch two, what happens when we create VLAN two? Show VLAN brief. VLAN two has been created. Is it replicated to switch one? No, it's not. What about switch two? No, it's not. So we do have an issue where when a VLAN is created on one switch, it's not replicated to other switches. So let's do some testing. Show interface trunk. We do have a trunk configured to switch two. Show CDP neighbors. Switch two is displayed as a neighbor. Show VTP status. Can you see the problem? Let's have a look on this one. Show VTP status. What's the problem on switch two and switch three? Have a look at this output. What's wrong? Okay, notice the domain hasn't been configured. We need to configure a domain. So VTP domain, CCNA as an example. So the domain has been changed. Let's have a look on this switch. Notice it's now learnt the domain from switch three. Let's have a look at the VLAN, so show VLAN brief. VLAN two now appears on switch two. Can we configure a VLAN here? Notice we can't. We are told that a VLAN cannot be configured on switch two because it's a client. So we would need to change the mode to server if we wanna create VLANs on the switch. On switch three, show VLAN brief. VLAN three has now been learnt by switch three. So it looks like switch two and switch three are synchronizing. VLANs are being replicated between switch two and switch three. What about switch one? The VLAN is being replicated here. What happens if we create a VLAN here, VLAN five? Show VLAN brief. VLAN five exists there and is replicated across. Show VTP status. So it looks like things are working now. I'm gonna introduce another problem and let's see if you can find out what that problem is. Okay, so in this scenario, we have the same issue. VLANs created on one switch are not replicated to other switches. So we have VLANs one to five in the databases of these switches. But as an example, if I create a VLAN six on switch one, that appears on switch one, but does not appear on switch three, or switch two, show VTP status. That's the output of switch two. What about switch one, show VTP status. What's the problem here? This is the output of switch two. Here's the output of switch one. What's the problem? Notice here, VTP version running is three. VTP version on switch two is one. Those versions are not compatible. Let's check switch three, show VTP status. Version is one. 
we change the VTP version to two. Let's see if it makes any difference. So show VLAN brief. I'll create VLAN seven on this switch. Show VLAN brief. VLAN seven exists on this switch. It exists on switch two. It doesn't exist on switch one. Now we're getting a message digest checksum error at the moment on switch two, but notice the version has changed to two. It previously was version one, but this switch is using version three. On switch three, the current version is version two. So let's change the version of switch one to version two. Show VTP status. The version is now version two. Show VLAN brief. We've learnt about VLAN seven. VLAN six has been removed. And that's because the other switches had higher revision numbers. Previously, the revision number of the switch was four, but it's now synchronized to the other switches who have a higher revision number. So on switch one, if we create VLAN six again, we should see that on the other switches, and there you go, it's on switch three. And it's on switch two. Notice the checksum error has now disappeared. So once again, show VTP status. Everything looks good here. Show VLAN brief looks good. If I create another VLAN, VLAN eight now exists on switch one and on switch three, as well as switch one. So be careful with your VTP versions. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.